Between chocolate, roses, dinner, and maybe even diamonds, Valentine's Day can be a costly holiday. There are ways to make it special without breaking the bank. Insights Kate Dolphin has more. Most romantics end up spending more than they budget for on Valentine's Day. This year, the National Retail Federation says we'll spend about $70 on our significant other, up a few dollars from last year. VCU student Omar Malinato says that with his girlfriend, he's looking more at the big picture. Uh, whatever it takes to make it go smoothly, I mean, not really a certain amount, whatever it takes. In a tough economy, what is a romantic to do? Experts have some low-cost suggestions. Many restaurants do a Valentine's three-course dinner meal with set prices. If you want to dine out for even less, Valentine's brunch is another great option. Local chocolate shops like the For Love of Chocolate in Richmond's Carytown are gearing up for the holiday. They carry a wide variety of candy and chocolates in several price ranges. You can customize a box for yourself and it'd be $6, $5.99 for the customized box or you can go all the way up to $40. That's all part of the $15.7 billion spent on the holiday. Thinking of stopping somewhere on the way home on Valentine's Day? Think again. Think Christmas Eve for that hard to find toy. For Valentine's Day, I would definitely recommend you come in maybe two days, three days in advance because Valentine's Day itself and the day before Valentine's Day is absurd. Like, it's so busy in here. And as we all know, when it comes to Valentine's Day, sometimes the thought just isn't enough. For VCU Insight, I'm Kate Dolphin. According to the National Retail Federation, about half of us will give a greeting card for Valentine's Day. Fewer than 20% of us will give jewelry. I like jewelry. What do you think? It's always good to have money left over, but still give a good gift. When in doubt, give diamonds. 